think we need to, um, as a profession, you know, do more things ourselves and not be frightened of, you know, pinning that cat's leg. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you're, you're absolutely right. It's knowing your limitations, isn't it? It's knowing that that actually you can you can do a procedure or you can't do a procedure. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. You, you sound, uh, uh, Julian, you, you sound saying, you, saying that, you know, know your procedures and knowing that you can do them, whether you can't. That sounds like a, a, a recipe for 60-second CPD to me. <laughs> it, it does rather, doesn't it? So would you be willing to do a 60-second CPD for it? I would be very willing to do a 60-second CPD as long as I can think of something to say in the next 15 seconds that will last for 60 seconds that will be of... <laughs> Of, of merit to anybody. I, I haven't started the clock yet, mate. <laughs> okay, like okay but you say go. I think I'd like to talk about it. something I'm really passionate about is is engaging and encouraging and giving confidence to the younger members of the profession, particularly first day out. You've got your, I mean, MRCVS and all the other letters, and and it's day one. You walk into that vet for your first job, and for the first time in your life, you're standing under. The wrong side of the consulting room table. Okay, so that sounds brilliant. So in that case, then great. Julian Norton, the Yorkshire vet. Thank you very much indeed. So Julian Norton, the Yorkshire vet. Sixty seconds on your first day of practice, starting now. Okay. So hello everybody, and particularly uh, new vets who are about to start work um, today. Uh, this might be some of you already. I've used 10 seconds. I've not given you any useful information. So first thing, look for clues. Um, vets need to look for clues. We get, we can't work anything out if we haven't got clues. So be a detective, ask the right questions and look for the answer to those questions. It's no point saying, you know, is your dog being sick? Yes. You need to know why it's being, how many times it's being sick. 10 times in the last um, half a day or 10 times in the last year. So be a detective. That's trick number one. Uh, trick number two, be confident. Um, this x-ray on my phone came from a colleague of mine from a few year, uh, well, a few months ago, actually. She's fixed a cat's femur. Look at that. Um, she's not an orthopedic surgeon, but she can do anything. Uh, so be confident as well. Uh, look for clues and be confident. And the world's your oyster. And there you have it. Wow. Well, spot on. Seconds, that was... with, with 15 seconds preparation time. That's uh, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> well, well done. Excellent. Well done. Excellent. As, as they say in your neck of the woods, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> you know, I don't think you need a retake on that, to be honest. No, all right. It was a bit vague. I, I can, if anybody wants more detail, a more detailed um, uh, summary, maybe over five minutes, I, I'm happy to, uh, uh, to, to speak to people via... Instagram or um, email or, or whatever. So uh, please contact me if you want a more a more informative CPD over over a minute.